All right, people are coming back from lunch and energizers after lunch are really important to get people kind of out of their food coma and into the afternoon. This is an energizer that we love um, and we think it's particularly well suited um, for this part of our um, performance assessment two day session. Um, it's called Zoom and it's based on uh, a great book that has a series of images um, that are all sort of layered and zoomed out from each other, but you don't really see that uh, until you kind of have to lay all the things out in a sequence. So um, it involves that you have arrived with a, the, all the Zoom images um, in color, keep them nice in, 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 a, in a file folder uh, as you travel on the airplane to get where you're going, um, and pass them out to all the participants uh, in the room. Um, there's a, a number of these, probably way more than the number of participants you have. So that means lots of people are going to get, you know, more than one, if not three or four. Um, these are, this is sort of the set of rules, uh, or instructions, I should say, that you signal to the participants before they get started. Um, their job is to try to lay out the images in some sort of sequence. You're not going to say much more to them than that about what the meaning of these, these uh, uh, images is. Super important rule is that you're not allowed to talk. So you have to kind of use other forms of communication to work together to figure out how to put them in the sequence. Um, third, you are not allowed to move images that you happen to have been originally handed. So you, as people start working together, um, you certainly can sort of move things around that other people have laid down, but this is kind of a rule that kind of, kind of forces the, the collaboration a little bit. And then lastly, let people know that when the, when the group feels like it's done, they need to stand back and, and review what it looks like. Uh, it's super fun, and um, oftentimes you can even have a little bit of a debrief when it's done around how, what was the thinking process that people went through, um, what did they notice, and what sort of ahas or understandings did they draw from the experience. Um, lots of great pe feedback comes from that. People notice, um, um, you know, the, the, the reality of interdependence and the fact that, that also I think a really important thing is that there's lots of different ways to enter into a process, um, which is certainly true for performance assessment design. So you can even link it um, sort of metaphorically to the work that we're doing over these two days.